Hello everybody and welcome back to part two of two of Armageddon on our SmackDown vs. Raw General Manager Mode series. Right now, we've got Umaga coming out to the ring to face Marcus Corvon for the United States Championship in a no disqualification match. We know these two cannot complete a match within the original rules per se. So, the, and we can't trust Umaga's savage self to stay in the ring and not get counted out for a full 10 count and just wreak total carnage on the outside of the ring. But we've got to get a decisive United States champion. Corvon's got one up on Umaga. Umaga left Corvon laying broken down on an announce table and in, in another encounter. So this one is going to be intense. It's going to be high energy. It's going to be volatile. And it is going to be for the United States Championship. Here comes that man, Marcus Corvon. Getting ready to even the score, or I guess get that one up on Umaga after Umaga just absolutely brutalized him outside of the ring by powerbombing him through an announce table. No disqualifications, no countouts here in this match, but there will be a decisive victor. Someone's getting pinned or submitting. We've got no room for gray areas here, folks. It's for the U.S. title. We're about to get underway. Let's go. Okay, Corvon coming out with the kicks. But Umaga, okay, with the knee. Umaga, though, just shoving him back. Again, the total display of dominance by Umaga is just such a threatening, intimidating thing. His aura is, is enough to get you rattled in itself. Because he is just a big, scary bastard who doesn't give a damn about anything except hurting people. Alright, Umaga. Just a huge swing. Just manhandling Corvon. Corvon not going to go down without a fight, though. Corvon with a big knee. Over the gut of Umaga, just taking him down. Then we got the full Nelson slam there. Two big, strong men. Two big, meaty men just slapping some meat here in this contest. Corvon running. I don't know where. But nonetheless... Okay, Umaga swinging him around. Umaga, this is the one is just a fight here. Corvon once again getting him with that knee, but now okay, Umaga not letting Corvon get any shots in at all. And Umaga going for some kind of power slam. Corvon getting out of it, hitting that reverse DDT. Corvon's looking good. He's feeling good. He hits him with that spear and the punches to the face. Corvon, like I said, man, he is. He is amped up and hot about what Umaga did to him just two weeks ago. Another knee to the gut, and he's going right back to it. Corvon just decking him. Hey, Umaga getting out of trouble there. No, sir, Umaga. No, sir. Big clothesline. My gosh, such a powerful clothesline. Straight out of Batista's <laughs> uh, moveset, I can only imagine. Corvon doesn't go up to the top very often, but he went to it there, and he came up big. It has been almost all Marcus Corvon so far in this match. And he hits it with the gore. Let's go. Can we get the one, two, three? Umaga's eyes are closed. This might be it. No. No. Umaga says that is not enough, sir. That is not enough to bring me down. I think these superstars are going to keep it up until they've got literally nothing left to give. And that's the attitude you have to take to win. <laughs> okay. Umaga coming with the strikes. Picking him up for maybe another kind of power bomb. Can't really. Yep. Up in that power bomb position. But Corvon getting out of trouble once again. 
Corvan is just feeling himself here, and he is unstoppable at this point. I disagree. Getting the crowd on your side and Corvan does, in fact, sport the worst ring out animation that you could possibly imagine. But Corvan, it, it, it's not enough to just defend the United States Championship, it seems. Corvan is trying to get even with Umaga's actions. Throwing him right into the announce table. My gosh. Umaga says, I don't know if I want any of that, brother. Okay, that actually might be a worse ring in animation than Corvon's, however, less uh, unnecessary than Corvon's is <laughs> the jump. Bobby Lashley jump. Okay, decking him. Straight decking him. Omaga counter in there. Okay, nice little headbutt there by Omaga. Little jumping headbutt. And with a shin across the chest. Maga's trying to get some momentum back. Okay. The flailing arms. That will definitely do it. No, sir. Oh, man. I thought him, I thought Corvon was going to go for another gore there. Not the case. Hey, watch your language. This is a family show. I said exasperate. Take it. Never mind. Come, come on, Maga, you big bitch. You big bitch. Okay, hitting me with some shoulders. He's hitting me with some shoulders. Okay. Okay. Maga throwing him out the ring. Oh, no. I've heard stories about the way you train people. You make Marine drill instructors look like pushovers. Come on, no. Not going to take a light. Not going to take anything lightly. This is... For the United States Championship. Well, thanks, but no thanks, partner. I think I'll stick to announcing for now. I thought I thought Corvon was busted open for a second with the way he sold. Said. Maga stomping around like a big dumbass, trying to get some momentum, maybe, but he's just twirling, spinning. Sweeter. No, sir. No, sir. Come, come on, Corv Ah, Come on, Corvan. You gotta be more agile than that. <laughs> Damn it. Trying to do some kind of diving attack at him, Maga. Didn't happen. Okay, getting out of dodge. He's getting out of dodge. Maga's staying slippery, though. You're not wrong, partner. Oh, he made an impression. He stalked in his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Corvan. Waiting for Umaga to get up two feet, firmly planted on the ground, double axe hit. Very nice. Very nice. And Umaga, he doesn't want any of it. He doesn't want any of it because he knows. He knows that Corvan has got his number here in this match. Come on. Umaga holding his ass cheeks. Okay. Maga says no sir. Corvan says no sir. It's amazing that they've got so much movement. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, Corvan goes for some kind of power slam. Nope. Saves the power slam. He says no sir. I'm gonna. <laughs> I, I want to power slam you properly through a fucking table. Oh my gosh, the sit down. Butt buster, the Bubba Bomb on that one. Come on, you big bitch. Come on, you big bitch. Oh. I love this spot next to the announce table, man, because it just, the game struggles with, <laughs> with the spacing here. And it makes for some funny, some funny stuff. Seeing a match like this makes me proud to be part of this company. Power slam through the table. There you go, Corvon. Corvon showing him, beating him with the U.S. title. He says, bitch, bitch, you ain't got shit. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. Okay, Maga getting out of dodge there with the drop toe hold reversal. Corvon throwing him back in the ring. 
Oh man, that would be devastating. That would be devastating. Not, not gonna lie. If somebody got hit with the stairs in, in that situation, that would be devastating. Umaga's twirling around like he's got any sense, but Umaga's not gonna go down easily. Umaga's a big bastard. Oof. Oh no, he ain't Gary Kubiak! And then he ain't a big STO! Oh shit! Oh man, Gary Kubiak has been taken out thanks to the carnage here. <laughs> and Umaga woke up feeling feeling like a new man, choosing violence. And Corvon going for the Irish whip. Oh, what a spear by Umaga! My goodness! My goodness! And Umaga, again, do not count this man out. Oh my goodness, Corvon has busted Umaga open just with those right, with those lefts. Actually, excuse me, big clothesline there. Umaga not going down without a fight, folks. Yes, but then there's the door! My gosh! <laughs> Huge impact. One, two, Umaga's a bloody mess, and Corvon slays the Samoan bulldozer. And Corvon comes out on top in an extremely physical fight. This match went all the way around the ring, threw on an announce table, back into the ring to finally figure out a decisive victor for this United States Championship. For Vaughn stays on top in the United States division. And it's hard, it's hard pressed to find out who's going to be able to unseat Marcus Corvon. Gentlemen, it is time for the main event, the World Heavyweight Championship. Bobby Lashley, Mr. Kennedy, CM Punk, triple threat, one fall to a finish. This match is going to be all over the place, folks. Mr. Kennedy, the man who Teddy Long could not keep off a of SmackDown. CM Punk, the, the MVP of Survivor Series, bringing a victory to Team Raw just to find himself getting traded to SmackDown and rewarded a World Heavyweight Championship match. And Bobby Lashley, the reigning World Heavyweight Champion since the Great American Bash, defeating Mr. Kennedy in a triple threat with then champion Edge. So Mr. Kennedy and Bobby Lashley are very familiar with one another. But we've got a lot, a lot of things to figure out, some huge things to figure out who is going to be the World Heavyweight Champion leaving this match, heading into the Royal Rumble. Is it going to be Bobby Lashley? Is it going to be CM Punk? Or is it going to be Mr. Kennedy? We're going to find out now. And CM Punk has been a massive addition to the SmackDown roster ever since he made his first appearance within this series. He has been making great performances, or putting on great performances, excuse me, and making quite the name for himself within this series, despite brief only being here a brief, brief period so far. And here comes Mr. Kennedy. That man who managed to weasel his way back into SmackDown after being booted off of the roster, negotiating his way back onto the roster with a World Heavyweight Championship opportunity to boot. Can he make good on this opportunity? We're going to have to wait and see. But he's looking focused, he's looking good. But he's got some tough competition ahead of him.
And here he comes, Big Belt Bobby. Looking good. Here comes the points, the pyro, the championship, the man, Bobby Lashley. He's been on a tear. He's been damn near unstoppable. And he's got the hurt business backing him. Chris Masters, MVP. MVP took a loss earlier in the night. Chris Masters, he's fresh. The two accompany Bobby Lashley down to the ring. You can't see him here because the game just doesn't provide that level of visual. But Bobby Lashley rolling deep with his squad. And there it is, folks. The World Heavyweight Championship. It's up for grabs. We're about to figure out who's going to be champ. I'm Michael Cole. This is JB Allen. We welcome you to Portland, Oregon. It's been a long Bobby, time since we've Kennedy, been Portland, and it's Punk. To be back. The Someone's going to be the champ. And <laughs> Kennedy and Lashley wasting absolutely no time. Lashley, excuse me, CM Punk and Lashley wasting absolutely no time. But Lashley's not taking it. He's not coming. taking any of that shit. Uh -uh. But Kennedy hits him with a big DDT right there. Man, these triple threats are always so chaotic. We always got motherfuckers just running around the ring. The targeting indicators are just on some serious, some serious stimulants. We'll just say that. <laughs> Another DDT by Kennedy. Man, Kennedy is vicious with those DDTs, especially in these multi-man matches. Kennedy has won championships or defended championships in multi-man matches during this series he's competed for the world heavyweight championship in multi-man matches within this series so kennedy maybe he almost feels comfortable in this type of scenario bobby lashley of course won the world heavyweight championship in a triple threat oh man Big backbreaker coming here. Bobby Lashley is just a, such a dominant competitor here in this series. Okay, back suplex there. Very nicely done, Mr. Kennedy. Do not let that back suplex get you ousted from, from the WWE for nearly breaking the superstar's neck. Uh, that would be terrible. Um, we already lost you in real life. We don't want to lose you in the series again, brother. That's why you're still here on SmackDown. Oh, okay. And Lashley just throwing Kennedy into the corner. No remorse. Absolutely no mercy towards any of these guys. Lashley does not fuck with Mr. Kennedy. He has not fucked with Mr. Kennedy throughout, at any point throughout this series. And uh, CM Punk, of course, the new face here on SmackDown. Nobody likes the new face. And he just shot his way up the card. Oh, man, he almost hit him with that pretty, pretty super kick. And Mr. Kennedy, of course, sabotaging CM Punk's one-on-one -on -one opportunity for the World Heavyweight title. Oh my goodness, these kicks though by, by CM Punk. These kicks. He's about to put him in a Boston Crab. There's going to be a rope break and Bobby Lashley staying right there. This That submission had no chance. You should pick better grapples, brother. Oh, hitting him with a roll-up, maybe? With with a quick roll-up? No? Okay, Gary Kubiak says, pull those tights again, motherfucker. And uh, we'll see if you even stay in this match. Lashley and Kennedy. Okay, they're double teaming Punk. Okay, the uh, SmackDown Originals here taking down CM Punk. Kennedy and Lashley just kind of looking at each other. Oh, but then CM Punk taking out the champ. No one is safe here in this match, folks. No one. Kennedy, what are you doing? He's setting him up for, for the tree of woe and just feeding him a foot. Just feeding CM Punk feet for dinner. That's not the oh, okay, we got a roll up here. We got the roll up. Okay, Gary Kubiak says, brother, stop it. Stop with the illegal roll ups. Not happy about it. Oh, and then CM Punk just <laughs> makes Bobby Lashley get on the ground there. Okay, there's that nice torture rack. Back breaking gut buster. Oh my gosh. And Bobby Lashley just dodging Mr. Kennedy. Everybody's looking good in this match right now. I'll tell you what, folks. I'll tell you what. Now Kennedy is going to put Bobby Lashley into the trio. Well, yes, he is. Yes, he is. And now he feeds Bobby Lashley some feet. Gary Kubiak is in the way, but we're going to get past him. 
Gary Kubiak, brother, you need to fucking move, though, man. We gotta bring the action over to the right side of the ring, apparently. Gary Kubiak is sit on the west side of the ring. Okay, CM Punk. Okay, CM Punk. Those feet and those those feet and CM Punk's submissions are extremely deadly, and you gotta be careful. And now, Kendi, giving the knees to the gut of the world champion. Oh, we thought we were gonna see if maybe a running boot to the face that wasn't the case. And another rope break. Bobby Lashley putting CM Punk in the corner. Kennedy is just watching, like, what the hell is going on? We're going, we're going to see some kind of dominator into the turnbuckle. My goodness, that's a, that's one way to hit a dominator. Yeah. Not quite a, the full effect of a dominator, but CM Punk's or CM Punk's about to be glad that he wasn't a part of that superplex by Mr. Kennedy. Oh no. Oh no, we got the Boston Crab in the middle of the ring. This is how Team SmackDown lost Survivor Series. Bobby Lashley, you got to save your world championship, brother. And Bobby Lashley breaks it up. My goodness. That was a close call, in all honesty. I'm not sure if CM Punk would have, uh, or if Mr. Kennedy would have been able to get out without tapping. But we got to be careful with CM Punk on that one if, if we want to keep CM Punk from winning this championship. Okay, okay. Does not get it. Gary Kubiak is like, Kennedy, I am fucking tired of telling you, brother. Oh, Bobby Lashley. Oh, oh, oh. He's just playing mind games with Kennedy. All that for nothing, virtually. Okay, now, arm breaker here. Okay, there we go. Do not let him get that anaconda vice on you guys, or else you are just having a bad day. And Kennedy cannot figure out who the fuck he wants to target. That is not easy. That is not. That does not make for a, a good time, folks. I'll tell you that. And Kennedy continuing to feed Bobby Lashley knees to the gut, trying to just affect the breathing of the champion. CM Punk needs to just fuck off for a second, please. <laughs> and yeah, that's right. Just slap, mock him. Knee to the face, knee to the gut, slapping him in the face, just making him feel bad. Another setup for the Tree of Woe. Mr. Kennedy loves setting people up in the Tree of Woe. Not sure why, because he's got some poor moves stemming from a setup in the Tree of Woe. But other than that, his move set's actually pretty nice, so we won't harp him too bad. And Bobby Lashley just throwing this man at the ring. Throwing this man at the ring. He's throwing both men at the ring. Bobby Lashley, what what are you doing? He's going for them both, but Kennedy rolls out of the way. Kennedy rolls out of trouble. CM Punk's getting up. Bobby Lashley's embarrassed, so he gets up rather quickly. Both men are just not feeling well. But Mr. Kennedy, Mr. Kennedy's got to capitalize. It doesn't mean shit if he just feeds the knees to the gut. If he doesn't do anything else, then he is not going to become champion. I'll tell you that much. And Bobby Lashley slowly making his way over to Mr. Kennedy. Reversing out of it. And Kennedy, he says, take another knee to the gut, you motherfucker. How about a punch to the dick? And Bobby Lashley not feeling good about the way he... He is experiencing everything. Kennedy, there we go. Big boot to the face. Very nicely done. And Kennedy, once again, targeting indicator just all out of whack. And see up on... Oh, wee. All right. That's unfortunate. Bobby Lashley reversing that kick somehow into like an arm drag hip toss. Not really sure how all that works. But Mr. Kennedy's going back for another superplex. And CM Punk is again just watching Kennedy deliver this super pledge. Very nice. And Kennedy is just toying with everybody on these fucking turnbuckles. Putting CM Punk into the tree of woe. <laughs> Bobby Lashley now throwing Kennedy into the corner. He says, I'm tired of your shit, man. I cannot remember the last time I've 
And Kennedy in the middle of the ring. Okay, he's able to get himself up a little bit. Oh my goodness, ran into a brick wall. That is Bobby Lashley, the world heavyweight champion. And CM Punk just missing, or Kennedy missing, but then CM Punk missed, and then Kennedy missed again for good measure. My goodness, CM Punk, where are you taking him? Where are you taking him, brother? Oh, boom! My God! That super kick, brother, is just devastating. You love to see it, though. And uh, CM Punk once again going for a submission. However, uh, not going to get it. Nice DDT. Nice DDT. Oh, Kennedy's got to get out of trouble. And he's just going to... Running power slam. Nice move. Nicely done by the world champ. Oh, big German. Oh, my gosh. Kennedy just broke his neck. Kennedy just broke his neck. It's now a singles match between Bobby Lashley and CM Punk. And Bobby Lashley might just have to pin CM Punk and call it good. Oh, Kennedy somehow miraculously getting up. I genuinely am not, how, not sure how CM Punk's able to get up. Be or Kennedy, my gosh, I cannot just call these guys by the right fucking name, apparently. But. Oh, Kennedy. Set him up, Kennedy. With the Green Bay plunge. Big move there. Taking out Bobby Lashley. And then he's, what are you doing? What are you doing, brother? What are you, what are you doing? He, okay, that's better. That's more like it. He goes and covers CM Punk. Kennedy, one, two, three. New World Heavyweight Champion. And Mr. Kennedy, your new World Heavyweight Champion. He was able to make a return back to SmackDown and seal the deal. Finish it off. However, there, it, it was not without some serious, serious controversy, folks. Let me talk to you for a second. My goodness, the celebration of Mr. Kennedy begins for the World Heavyweight title. I. He has scratched and clawed his way. <laughs> he has been on some shisty shit. But Mr. Kennedy has become world heavyweight champion. So like I said, Mr. Kennedy becomes world heavyweight champion. Bobby Lashley loses the match. CM Punk is the one to get pinned. However, it is not without controversy. So we noted that there was MVP and Chris Masters out with Bobby Lashley during the match. Bobby Lashley actually sees MVP and Chris Masters get ejected during CM Punk's probably highest peak of momentum in that match. And so MVP and Chris Masters get ejected. CM Punk's got momentum. He's looking good. It looks like CM Punk is going to be the one to take home the World Heavyweight Championship. However, uh, not the case, clearly. But MVP and Chris Masters, they do find their way back into the match towards the end. Now, what happens is MVP hands Bobby Lashley a chain. Bobby Lashley's looking to take advantage. But at the last second before Bobby Lashley's about to clean some clock, MVP grabs him on the shoulder. He's like, wait, hold on. You know, he has, he has one more thing to say or whatever. He gets his... He gets his attention, but out of nowhere, Mr. Kennedy comes up and just thwops Bobby Lashley. And then somewhere in the scuffle, Lashley drops the chain. Kennedy picks it up, hits Lashley, and then sets up that Green Bay plunge. And then CM Punk's on the ground. Kennedy hits a Kenton on CM Punk, and that's how we see Mr. Kennedy become World Heavyweight Champion. So, the Hurt Business was definitely involved However, it went sour for Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley was not happy. Absolutely fuming in MVP and Chris Masters. They're definitely looking like 
some shit's about to go down. However, they made their mark regardless. So that does it for Armageddon. As you can see here, we had to make some changes. Uh, CM Punk could not crack the top five, so we had to make it a singles competition for the World Heavyweight Championship. Get that victory here. We'll check out the ratings and everything for this event. Four-star Cruiserweight Championship match. Four-star Ray and MVP. Four-and-a-half-star TLC Tag Team match. Umaga and Marcus Corvan. Umaga, for some reason, wasn't able to contend for the United States Championship, so we put him in a hell in a cell for the for the hell of it. And nice, uh, <laughs> nice pun there. Um, no pun intended, though. Mind you that. Four and a half stars for these two gentlemen. Four and a half stars for the World Heavyweight Championship match for a final of a four and a half star show. Check this out, guys. Check it out. Fan change goes to ECW, 50,000 on my pay-per-view. I don't understand that. I had the better rating. Four and a half star. We should have had a five star match in there. I don't, it's stupid that they didn't, but it's my fault that I didn't have the uh, championships or the rivalries probably to get us there for that five star. But, but that is, this has been Armageddon folks. So let's get you this roster. Let's show you better yet. We haven't, we haven't checked this out yet, or in a while, I should say. The current champions, Mr. Kennedy, Marcus Corvon, Gregory Helms, and Rated RKO. What a squad, folks. Mr. Kennedy getting the World Heavyweight Championship run, the world title run that he never was able to get, the title run that he deserved, folks. So if you made it here, if you made it all the way through Armageddon, thank you for being a real one. You know I appreciate you. Let me know you're a real one. Drop it down in the comments. I'll give you some love. Stay tuned for the next episode because it's going to be coming at you soon. Thank you for watching. Take it easy.